ここはどんな客人も歓迎いたしますよ私はヘドン<笑>この塔の管理人 Hey, everybody, welcome back to the podcast. Another week of Tower of God. Talking about season one, episode seven, and then season three, episode 61, if I'm not mistaken. And、uh, some interesting stuff going on on both of these、uh, both of these content here. So let's go ahead and get right into the anime. Episode seven, like I said, lunch and tag. They're changing it up, and it's a little bit it's up in the air for me. It's kind of interesting, and it's kind of questionable. Yeah, dude.、Uh, I watched it and then I read it and then I took a nap and then I came back to rewatch it. I, I don't know how I feel about this one, man. I, I've said this before. I feel like all the stuff that they're taking out, you know, like the dialogue and just the way some of the characters, you know, react with each other, I feel like at this point it's just snowballing. And this, this one was really important to me, in my opinion. I, I did take some notes down and I'm just going to go right into it with that, the one that's really bugging me. Um, so, when Bam is having the conversation with the teacher, the wave controller teacher, you know, there is that whole part missed about rooms, about bangs, and how Shinso like, actually works in a different way. And that whole piece getting taken out, that's going to make a big difference to me. Yeah, man, that was, it was pretty crazy because、uh, I, I watched it first, right? And、uh, we were talking before about what was going on. And then. As soon as I got to the page reading it, I was like, oh man, I can't believe they took it out. But one thing of note about this episode as well is they do shuffle things around, right? Yeah.、Uh, for an example, like, it, and it's better placed for the anime, right? Like, the way this episode starts off is it, Andrasi is explaining what the Jihad princesses are. And that happens、mm-hmm. like earlier in the fight, which would have happened last episode. But it is better as an episode starter. So, I can understand that part, right? For、mm-hmm. as, as far as shuffling things. So, I think with this whole thing about explaining bangs and stuff, I think what's happening is remember, this is early Tower of God stuff for the Manwa. And what does that mean? That means there wasn't really anybody telling SIU how he should structure information, right? Because there, it's a lot of information for these first few episodes here for the anime. I feel like they could bring it up later after this match of tag. Right, because it's the, the, the test stuff is still not over for all the positions, right? We still have to go through the final part for the wave controllers, and I think that's when they'll probably introduce bangs. And then we could get that dialogue because, again, the teacher, like you mentioned, he was, he barely had any dialogue in this episode, which、yep. to, to me is actually kind of crazy, right? Because he's such an important character、uh, for the rest of the season when he shows up <clears throat> and actually does more things. So I think as long as they bring it later down the line, I would be okay. Yeah, I, you know, it's, it, it just goes back to what I was saying, though. Like, the, <clears throat> the list of things being cut just kind of keeps increasing at this point, you know? And, and I'm all for the way that they're pacing the show now because it, it's like you said, when Tower First came out, there was all this, all this information, and nobody, you know, in the backseat just kind of like, hey, man, you should probably just wait on this one, you know? But、mm-hmm. I, I think it's working out really well for the anime, regardless. Like, if I was completely vanilla to it, I, I think it's fine. It's still really enjoyable.、Uh, but that just, it, it rustled my Jimmy's just a little bit too much, you know?、Uh, but I think, I, th- I still like this episode, at least the first half, right? Before the, the game starts, at least. Because、um, th- there's fun moments. But,、uh, I don't know if you caught this again, Danny.、Um, I mentioned this last week when they showed up the list that Shibisu、um, needs to make a whole bunch of friends. They did show again. Uh, Bam's name as the 25th Bam, which I, I'm still really enjoying that. I hope that maybe we'll get something for it, but if not, at least the notice is actually there. And see, I actually like the, the friends part、uh, in, in the anime more because in the manhwa, it was just、uh, Kuhn's like, well, Bam wants to help Andrasi and Anak because you know, they get injured in their fight. And he's like, all right, well, let's、mm-hmm. go ahead and do this. Versus in the anime, it's like, oh, they're going to help. Hatsu and Shibisu for their friends list that they need. And、um, that's when Kun's like, okay, well, we'll use Bam to help you guys. And、uh, I like that more because it, it, it involves the characters、uh, more. Yeah, I, I'm really liking this, this development of Bam having with everybody. You know, that, that he's friends with literally everyone that's not on his immediate team. He's Komi san. 
Oh my god. <laughs> Dude, I haven't even read it yet. Just stop. That's on my list. I'm gonna start it this week after I catch up with the Gray Man. I mean, Bam having all these all these allies, all these friends comes out to be a huge role in the future. So I'm really liking the way the anime is delving this out. You know, it's it's a lot of fun. Uh, and I think it's it's doing a really, really good job. There was big there was big Zoro Sanji vibes between Hatsu and uh and Kuhn, yeah. Oh dude, yeah. Yeah, that, sh- that shit was great, man. It's good stuff, man. <laughs> I was waiting for him to call him a moss head and just, just know, keep moving on. Well, no, remember he calls Kuhn earrings or whatever. He's like, oh, yeah, because you wear earrings or whatever. Uh, yep. Again, I still feel different things about this episode, but I think overall it was it was pretty solid. Uh, the way that they delivered the first part of the episode, finishing off the fight, that was so good. It, it was really one for one. I really enjoyed it. I mean, mm-hmm. they got the faces like in the panels down yeah, really, really did. well. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, caught, caught, uh, Quant's voice is, is, in my opinion, really, really good. Quant, yeah, yeah, Su- really well suited for his character. It's, it, it's like, <laughs> again, like big Luffy vibes from him. Oh, huh, yeah. But like, but like older and worse or less responsible. <laughs> I don't know, dude. <laughs> yeah, overall the the voice cast is solid. Yeah, the voice is, the cast is great. I I I swooned over Andro and uh, I'm sorry, and Dorsey today. Like when she was just when she was just doing the shit that she does, I'm like, oh, mm-hmm. stop. A knock too, dude. Dude, I'm I'm, st- I'm gonna keep saying this, man. Lizard girls, bro. So we gang. A knock got me acting <laughs> strange. <laughs> I I like her a lot more, man. I like her a lot more in season one than I did previously. I mean, I have also said that season two she really gets a lot of limelight, and whoo. It also it also puts in, it also puts in Dorsey in like a. Kind of a more mature light too. Mm-hmm. Like she keeps referring to her as niece and like big sister Anak. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, I'm really liking the way the anime is developing the relationship because again, all, all this relationship building is going to be a huge factor later on. You know, again, hoping oh, yeah. that we do get season two, but it's what they're doing right now is a really, really solid job. Yeah, it's really good stuff. Even with, uh, you know, the only thing I wish is, you know, because SI use oh, kind of overseeing the series. And usually what that means is maybe they'll add some stuff or they'll change some stuff to improve the story. I just kind of wish he would tell them like, hey, you know, Rachel, let's let's give her just a little bit more stuff to do. Right. Because I'm just thinking in a new person's perspective on the show, it's probably a little confusing. Like, well, what's going on with Rachel? You know, I wish she can have kind of like just a little oh, bit more. Oh, scenes. Oh, oh. No, hold, hold, hold your horses right there, man, because uh, I th- I went ahead a little bit, and there is some stuff that happens from this point onward um, in season one, and it's and it's fine. It's it's completely fine. It works out really really well. Look at her room. Look at her. Look at her room for one, dude. I mean, like yeah, she, I guess so. She, it's like pretty much hoarder status in there, dude. I'm pretty sure a bunch of us, a bunch of people, like live like that too. I used to. She okay. forgot to take the cups out of her room, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> But no, she she does get some more um, stuff going from this test forward, so uh, it, it's 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 fine. Well, what they're doing right now is is perfectly fine. It definitely works. I did I, I did completely forget about that scene in the restroom though because that was really mm. nice. The anime did a great job on that scene in the restroom. Yeah, I, I actually like the anime version more. It, I just I like the deliverance of the line. Like, and and this is all pure voice acting that just did phenomenally. Where Andrasi says, I'm, I'm going to keep calling her Andrasi. Fuck, fuck Dorsey, okay? But where Andrasi <laughs> yeah, says, um, I hope w- I hope whatever's at the top of the tower is more important to you than him. Oh, than you know? him. Oh, like, yeah. Like, I, I had to pause it. I was like, dude, I felt that, man. Like, that was that was good. And then the little touch just, of, of Rachel saying, like, what does she know? <laughs> yeah, like, who, who do you think you who are? You know, she is. That, that's yeah. what I was like, dude. This is why adaptions can do really well sometimes. Like you can take a scene that you can have on paper and you can kind of generate your own emotions from it. Like you can you can speculate what each character is going yeah. through at that time, but then seeing the like hearing the voice behind it dude, I was I was ready. I was in. Oh yeah. Sign me up. And uh even though he was barely barely in it, uh I thought Rack scene was was hilarious. It was so fun. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was. I, I love how he's eating those those chocolate bars still, just like mm-hmm. 
It's all good. Uh, overall, yeah, a little, little shaky with what they're deciding with for content. But I'd say overall, it's a good episode. You know, it definitely fits the rest of how the anime is going about the series. So uh, as long as we could keep that consistency, I, I think... Yeah, just keep the consistency and make sure important things come at least later, then I think we'll be fine, you know. Because we got that scene and the music changed with Ho once he was looking what Bam's doing right with the Shinsu. And it's like, oh boy, we know where this is going, man. I I also want to bring this up too, um, since the episode already dropped. It's not so much a spoiler, um, but if you don't read the the manhwa, then, you know, this this might be news to you. When Ho gets the note in the anime you don't see the contents mm-hmm. yeah but in but in the manhwa you do and you can kind of get an idea you know with the following scenes who potentially wrote the note what is potentially on the note if you're paying attention to what's going on i don't fully agree with them hiding what's on there i think that was really important especially mm-hmm. with the comment that kun makes later on that no bam is going to fail this test he he's not going to pass I think it has to be – well, he doesn't say not pass. It's like, well, I want to win, and it's like it's that's just the rules of the test, right? But um, Right. Uh, I think as far as the contents of the note, I think it's just to uh, – it's just a tease, right? Because, uh, again, like I said, SIU didn't really have anybody telling him, like, you know, we should probably, you know, uh, and right, foreshadow right. this a bit or whatever, you know. So it's going to come back later for sure. Um, I think it's at, in this test, right, when he does whatever he does. Yeah, it's it's right in here. This is the big boy. Yeah, so I'm I'm sure it's gonna it's gonna be in here next episode. Uh, I'm looking forward to next episode actually because I want to see more of the uh, the test with Quant and then getting into uh, Team B and seeing what they're gonna do. It, this is gonna be a really fun, you know, the the next one's gonna be really fun to watch because this was as I was rereading the chapters today, I was like, damn, dude, this was one of my favorite tests that started off the, the series with. Because you get the you you get the idea of how each position is supposed to work, like as you go further on into the tower, and then what Team A does is very different from what Team B does. So it's it's going to be a fun ride for everyone. Yeah, man. So good episode. Uh, this ends like chapter thirty seven ish, thirty eight, and uh, there there was some stuff they didn't show it towards the end, and I think it's because they're saving it for next episode. Uh, let's go ahead and get into the uh, chapter for season three, episode sixty-one versus Callahan part or Calavan part two, and uh, yep, just some Dude. good stuff in here, man. It's definitely got me hyped for next week. Big hype, bro. Much big hype. And you know what? Now, now we can both say it, Danny. There were some images on Twitter that both spoiled us. Yeah. I saw this weeks ago, bro. I was so mad. I was like, dude, he <laughs> looks so cool, but get me away from this post. I don't yeah, want to see does. no more of it, man. Oh. Uh-huh. So good. Yeah, when I saw it, I saw fan art of it at first. White's uh, final, uh, his like full power design in here. And I was like, oh, yeah, that's pretty cool. And then I, I kept going, and then I saw the chapter <laughs> screenshot, and I was like, oh, I, I got, sp- oh, okay. Yeah, dude, it's so cool. I I just I want it now, man. I want it right now. You can you can have it now? No, I I'm gonna be good. I'm gonna keep but up shut up by week, dude. <laughs> be a good boy. You can yell at me for it later. But uh, no, this was a really agree, solid no. chapter. It brought in it, it brought in a little bit of everything, which was really really nice to see. <clears throat> Again, we see the boy Hockney do some cool stuff in here, uh, and I really like the usage of the lighthouse in, in this chapter. Like th- yeah. this is what I remember seeing so much of lighthouse do in season two and for it to do pretty much the same deal. It's like, Oh yeah, man, this is, this is what I signed up for. I was actually surprised to see how um, they used it with the teleportation. Cause I was, I, was, I wasn't thinking, I was thinking like, Oh, they're going to go towards the wall or something, you know, go towards where bam is. But instead we got the power up with uh, for white and yeah, it was a clever way to use it. I liked it. And I'm just gonna say this right now, so I can get out of my system, man. Buffy Van Kill. Buff girls. Dude, yeah. I'm I'm here, man. I'm I'm waiting. But no, she got some really cool stuff. Um, I like how she immediately knew, like, oh, if if I got hit by this bullet, that would have been it, man. So she's she's already kind of understanding that this sniper is already breaking rules. She's got special ammunition that could take down a really high ranker. Special permission from the administrators, so they must they must have done a contract. Well, see, it makes me think one thing, you know, and this might just be my 
conspiracy theories, you know, coming into play. But what other people have made contracts with the administrator to not have their power limited, but to have something else go on? You, you, you know what I mean? Maybe Hockney. I don't, I don't remember if anything went on. Well, I mean, the him. it's like what Evankel said. It's like she's limit. Uh, she's limited to how many bullets she could use on a floor. Um, and I think she even mentioned that before she shot Evan Kill, like a few chapters ago. I, I, I think you're right. But, you know, it's it, it's like how... I mean, the administrators are there to try and keep control in the tower, right? I mean, that's that's a general rule of thumb. But, it, it's again, this is just conspiracy theory, you know, thinking. Like, then why would you even allow such ammunition to be made when it's used to destroy somebody of a higher caliber? You, 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 you get what I'm saying here? I don't know, man. Administrators, dude. Dude, I... yeah. I mean, I, I think I think it goes back. It goes back to I think in the anime when they made the contracts. I think it was explained there where they said like, mm-hmm. "Oh, we're here to be to make sure there's a balance uh, in the tower. That's why we form contracts. And as long as it doesn't disrupt the balance of what's going on, then it should be fine." Because with the with the sniper and the van kill, we're dealing with what was it, like the top two, three hundred. Uh, rankers, and if, if if you just shift the numbers around, I don't think it's that big of a deal. I I, I could see that. I guess. I mean, because I think I don't think Evan Kelt considers herself part of Fug, you know, and I don't think the administrators do as well, because she's just only she's only there just to work with Bam. I forgot what the other reason was why she decided to train him. Uh, but regardless, yeah. Um, so she so she fucking dies too. Uh, Evan Kelt just straight up fireballs her. Uh, dude, she rocks her. And we we see that in the next panel, right, with um, all those, I guess, blood diamonds, whatever they are, that White has that are set on fire. Which, I mean, that's all he needed, man. I think they had said, it was, it was in this chapter or the last one, it's like, if I could just have one ranker soul, then I'm yeah. good. That's well, all he, I need. Well, he got two. Just... He got two in this one. Oh, yeah, he got the that one dude who let himself get shot by the bullet. Yeah, the, the Lopobia uh, family member. Yeah, so White's, White's ready, man. He's... He had his dinner. He had a, he had his dessert too. Mm-hmm. He's ready to rock and roll. I loved using the bullet for the bird, man. That yeah, was that was, that was that cool. Was nice. And so we get to the second half of the chapter. We get to we go back to see Bam here with the new shield, and uh, you know it looks pretty fresh. I like the design. I don't think I mentioned that last time, but uh, I like it. You know, and you know what? Too, I like it more too because it it is a water type thing, and then the uh, the red thrust is fire, so it's got that balance. You know, it's it, it's it's really cool. Very anime. Very anime. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It it is very anime. Oh, hold on. He's a water and a fire type Pokemon. Aw, oh, dude. Can you say OP? I gotta say it again, guys. Uh the Shinsu colors for Calavan are just so good. That blue and yellow with like some of that orange is just so good. Yeah, it's like okay, see it's it's the panels where I get to see Calavan's attacks that I'm fully okay with. Because mm-hmm. it's it's such a job well done. It looks overwhelming. I, I like this um, this assistant that Calavan has that's about to um, fight Cha. The, this should be a fun battle, too. I think Cha's just going to fuck him up, dude. Dude, I, I really want to see more of Cha, man, because this dude was a legendary warrior just like Doan was. Like, He's got to be the bee's knees. He's got to have some power locked away. I mean, I'm sure him and Doan are still trying to recover themselves after being locked away for so long, but... This guy's got muscles, man. He's gonna use them. And man, what a way to what a way to end the chapter here with perfect white, perfect we yeah, have perfect white. Yeah, bam, shield <laughs> breaks. Calavan's like, I'm about to kill this fucking kid. Dewan and Chalk, <laughs> they can't uh, save him in time. And then here comes just this freaking uh, Omni Slash coming in. Straight up Omni Slash, living Omni Slash, dude. Hey Jerry, in a more deviant yeah. art way. Doesn't White's crown look like that decal you just got in Kingdom Hearts 2? Sh- uh, dude, <laughs> this one actually does something. This one actually does something, though. He's the real Keyblade Master. No, dude, can I, we also just appreciate all of the fits in this arc, man? All the, like, yeah, for real, man. That's clean. It's holy. Yeah, I like this design a lot. He's like that one anime chick, the Sundere chicks. Loki, I could see this. I, I could see this outfit in like Dark Souls or some shit, you know? Right? Oh, definitely. I know, dude. See, I, I just wonder if um, now that he's like fully awakened and has his powers, is that going to change his attitude 
Because I want to say, I want to say that, so. I want to say yes. He he got some souls. He he did his attitude kind of changed a little bit. He wasn't Maybe as he's less of a twat. Yeah, that's what it is. Probably, but but no, I I'm really eager to see how how this is going to turn out for him. I mean, he looks like he's going to about to do some damage though. My guy, don't tell me, man. Just let that's me. That's all I'm going to say. Just I just want to know, dude. He cut this dude in the last arc. Without when he was even imperfect. being, yeah, dude, yeah. There, thank you. Yeah, when he was imperfect, and now that he's reached this like his perfect state, he's now perfect cell, Super Saiyan two. Like he's, I just want to know. I want to see it. I would not mind if the next chapter was just all of him. Uh, beyond Whiteside, I I think I think he's gonna be more mature, I, uh, like uh, tone tonally wise when he's when he talks, and I think his attacks are gonna be more focused. Because if you remember the chapter, I hope so. When he was showing off Hatsu, like how to really fight with a sword, he was kind of a little bit wild all over the place. I feel like he's going to be more refined in that. And, and that's exactly why I bring up the point because you know he, I feel like as he started to be with everybody, you know, yes, he was bloodthirsty and he did want to just find souls and come back to his ultimate form. I feel like there was more going on there. You know, like he finally understood what it meant to maybe have comrades and even be a teacher to Hats. You know, in, in one way. So this is going to be a lot of fun for me to see, especially if Hots gets view of the battle because he can see firsthand what a real swordsman is actually doing that's at his full potential. You know, I just realized the next chapter is going to be a long one. Yeah? Yes, that's Ooh, what I want. Boy. It's going to be good content, dude. I really, ho- I, I really hoped it would be because it's White versus Caliban, man. And wow, this now we're going to see Caliban really go all out, right? Because even though White's a, <laughs> White is still a regular, you know, he's he's just too strong. He's still a slayer. I think he was one of the strongest slayers uh, besides Yama. Yeah. Now we see White Prime again. I remember he too. He already, he's already taken out some rankers since he left the Hell Train. I, I just can't wait, man. I feel like I've been waiting a long time to see White and his potential, and now we finally get full on view. Like it's th- this has been a long time coming for sure. It's ever since he was introduced. There's a lot of great character development going on in this in this chapters. Bam isn't so quiet anymore. Look at him just taking on Caliban. Karaka's not, not such a dick anymore. Caliban is still fucking beastie. Fucking, I don't know, I don't know, dude. I haven't seen much of Kun, but, but White over here just like, for being coach, I'm ready. Yeah, man, I'm glad we're getting with this character progression, like you're saying. Especially with Bam, right? Like you mentioned, like, this was talking like, like a main character now. I'm gonna say right now, man, it's a mm. great time to be a Tower fan. Both in the anime and in the manhwa. Like, it's it's too good. Yeah, man. So I think uh, it's safe to say about to wrap us up for this episode. Uh, definitely hype for both next episode for the manhwa and the anime. Next episode, uh, we'll probably talk about the dub. Uh, I forgot yeah. the, the dub started today uh, as of this recording. Episode one's out. I, I, I still need to watch that. Yeah, definitely. I need to see how Kira does as Yuri. So yeah, guys, that'll wrap us up. Thanks for listening. As always, remember you can send an email on podcast at gmail.com. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, what are you thinking of Tower? Love to hear your thoughts. You can follow us on Instagram and Twitter at Unverse Podcast. We'll let you know when the next episode is out. And that's all for us today, guys. I will catch you on the next episode. I'm up inside the kitchen, I'm chasing flavors Get the message, I'm done with making favors I made my favorite hit a glass, take together We've been fasting forever, it seems It's all a dream to you and me I'm kinda starved when the pleasure began A couple white bitches sitting right next to my friend Yeah, where they go, oh, I don't know, oh. But we know, you know, we know we stole the show again You got a bone to pick, so pick a fucking bone Hearing voices when we're cooking all alone Here we go again Like it matters, it's just another news clipping Another blog post, a step closer to lost hope You're all the fucking same, it's fucking lame Why you humans gotta lose it when y'all lose the fucking game Where they go, uh you know, you know, you know, we out the hole again. Y'all got a bone to pick, so pick a fucking bone. Hear the voices when they're typing all alone, and they're so pretend.